Hi, Ian Roberts, and welcome again to our laboratory of the painting process. Last week, I talked about design-driven images as opposed to subject-driven. And this week, I want to talk about value masses. And the two are really intimately connected. You know, those flat value masses that make up the foundation of our painting. And they intersect, of course, with the design-driven image. Uh, I want to show you a diagram here where composition I'm looking at foundationally as structure underlying the image, a design-driven image using value masses, and of course the cropping of that image. And for, you know, if you're normally thinking in terms of subject matter and color, this may seem like, whoa, man, what is he talking about? But this really is the foundation of how to build more solid paintings. And then subject matter and color fit into this, but have to be supported by this foundation. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I posted a new profile picture on Facebook. I'm putting these videos up and I had a picture that was like 25 years old. And one of the viewers is working on a portrait workshop or something and she said, oh, it's a really good portrait. Can I paint it? And I said, you know, sure. So she sent it to me and here it is. Now, the thing is, she has really focused on trying to get the features right. And if I paint a portrait, I tend to do the same thing. And it tends in this case to be subject driven because of that. And this is where last week's exercise intersects with this one because the value masses are gone. I mean, relatively speaking to what was really there. And so I did a drawing and sent it to her of having no features at all, only thinking in terms of value masses. And if you squint, sort of like getting back at viewing distance, you actually see the value masses are holding the picture together. If you design those, the picture, in a sense, will take care of itself. It's a different way of looking at painting. So I'm going to do a demonstration in pencil of a landscape. And I've cut it up into little pieces so that it doesn't take too long. If you'd like to see the whole demonstration, which is about 12 or 13 minutes, I think, you can go to the link below and watch it. So we'll have a look at that demonstration now. I'm mainly here just trying to get everything in the right place. I've not got much to talk about. So there's sort of the gist of the structure. Now, I'm just going to start laying in some flat masses. Because these masses here, I'm thinking of as background. So I've got no sky holes, nothing particularly fancy going on. I just want a nice, simple, dark shape. A dark mass that everything in front of it can kind of jump against, like this tree, for example. You know, I want those branches to come out. And then I'm just going to go, even though it's in sunlight, I'm not getting into all that stuff, you know, in a drawing like this. I mean, if I were painting something larger, I might. But this is helping me understand the big masses and how I can simplify them is in these little shapes of dark and light up here of scotch broom because they really have the darkest darks and lightest contra you know, contrast is right in there. And then it all goes into shadow up here. This vineyard, I want to get a little darker too, so it doesn't get, get pushed out there. Now, 
when the shadow comes up over under the grasses, they're a little darker and you get more stuff happening like that. Of the simple masses and where I'm trying to get your attention, I'm just going to make this a little darker. If you orchestrate this kind of sim simplicity beforehand, your painting process will be much easier. And then I want to look at the structure too, because even though I'm looking at design-driven flat value masses, I want to show you that I'm still th thinking underneath that of structure. And I don't know if you noticed it specifically. I mean, I was talking about a center of interest and so on, but um, you know, we had the road coming up like this and the horizon and the trees up there and I was wanting to take you into those scotch broom bushes there. Um, the vertical and the horizontal were taking us right into the center of interest. That structure I was thinking of right from the start. I don't know if you noticed that as I went, but I mean, that structure is how I'm thinking about and orchestrating all the different shapes in the picture plane. So I just want to show you these four fundamentals of composition, of design-driven images, value masses, how we're cropping them, and of the structure underneath them. And that's where I'm really looking at the foundation of composition. And in a couple of weeks, I'm really excited about something to share with you because I think it'll help you dramatically in starting to see this world in more of a right brain as opposed to left brain, more of a right brain way of perceiving how pictures are put together so that you're building a really strong foundation. So next week, we're going to look at cropping and framing. And until then, have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday.